really elegant. That's so lovely. Oh, that's a bit of fun. <laughs> That's not bad. It's nice, it's different, it's unusual. Hello and welcome to another episode of Smash or Pass Mystery Mold Edition. This is the second last episode, so let's pick some molds. I'm gonna grab this one. I've actually wanted to do this one for the longest time because of the shape of it. And it also says, be honey jar lid. So let's have a look. I'm gonna grab this one as well. I have also wanted to do one of these very big tall ones for a long time, so I'm gonna grab that. This one is a three piece mold. It's similar to some of the mugs I've got already. It looks like it was handmade. It is a bit hodgepodge, but so are my molds when I make them myself. The thing I find with these molds is if they are hodgepodge, I probably won't keep them just for the fact that I could probably make my own hodgepodge mold of something that's my own design rather than fiddling with someone else's hodgepodgeness. I'd rather fiddle with my own hodgepodge. I'm usually a hard pass on to anything that's like a teacup or mug, but this one has a design flaw. Well, it's not a design flaw, it's just something that I personally don't like in teacups. <laughs> And that is this tiny handle. Usually the handles that are small are already small enough, but this one's even smaller. And like I've got small fingers that still got to shrink and my finger barely fits in there to hold. And I know, I know it's just a handle, but the handle is like how you caress the piece and it's how you hold the piece. And it's very important. Just on the handle alone, I don't like it. I, I usually keep these vessels anyway, I would usually, just because it's so great to have an extra mug shape. And cups are just so easy. They're an easy make because they're an easy sell. People always want cups and I always want to make cups. Hmm. You know, it kind of reminds me of Chip from Beauty and the Beast. I kind of really like the shape. It's just that, like, <laughs> my fingers are only just fitting through there and that's still got to shrink a fair bit once it dries and then also in the kiln it'll shrink more so I just don't know it's just a very unpractical handle. One thing I could do if I were to pass this on is pour it thick like I have today and just fill in those little holes where the handle goes and cut it off which I'm actually going to have a look at what it looks like without the handle. Oh that's not bad. It's nice, it's different, it's unusual. I do like that shape, how it's got the nice ring foot and then it's got the nice tapering up. I could make my own handle. It's nice, but I don't love it. I'm not in love and it's not sparking joy. I think it's a smash. <laughs> this is probably the one in this episode that I'm most excited for is because it says be honey jar lid. I don't know what the bottom of it looks like and I haven't been able to find anything that's an Arnold's jar. But regardless, it could be a wonderful attachment piece or a lid for a mug or something. So yeah, let's pour it up and see. And maybe you guys might have some ideas, which is part of the reason why I kind of wanted to do this one in Smash or Pass because I kind of already know I'm gonna like it, but I wanted to show it to you before actually doing a video on it because I don't have the jar base. Maybe I might find the jar base later or Maybe might be able to find it online. I don't know. I just thought it would be good to do it in this. That's so lovely. The, a big trypophobia warning, like if you don't like holes, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but if you don't like holes, I probably would look away. It appears to be this sweet, this sweet little bee and honeycomb so it looks like the bee sits on the honeycomb and that's the lid that's the lid which is quite sweet uh, so we'll try and get this out and give it a trim and have a play all right oh, I've just noticed something on this and I don't know if you can see that but it looks like there's a little hole for a, like a honey spoon See, it's got like a little divot for your little honey spoon to hang out of. That's rather lovely. I really like that. The bee is a little bit different to the bees I've had in the past. I want to just see if it'll fit on 
something like this. <gasps> Hold on. That's on a mug. So that's a mug shape. I mean, by the time it shrinks, it's probably gonna be a bit too small. Actually, ooh, sorry, little bee guy. These are two things that I have with like a narrower head, like a narrower rim. Ha! Not quite a good fit. Neither is the teacup because by the, it looks like it fits good now, but by the time these have already shrunk, but by the time this shrinks, it will be almost falling in. Oh, what about my koala? So this koala is not painted yet. This is one of my originals. No, it's a bit too, a bit too small. Oh, it's like Goldilocks. It's a little bit too hot, it's a little bit too small. It's a little bit too big, it's a little bit too tall. No, not quite. I'm not gonna smash this one because I do wanna see if I've got a jar that this will fit. It might just be a tentative waiting for this one. I might not do it for a while until I find something that it matches with. The other thing is I could pour them and just see how small they are when they do shrink to see if they do fit something like my koala and we could have some koala little honey pots. Yeah, I think that would be really cute. It's a pass. I don't know when I'll do it again, but it's definitely a pass and we'll wait and see if we can find the other parts. This one is a cool shape. I like the round shape of it and it's got the two holes. bit of fun. <laughs> they look like little salt and pepper shakers. Well, I'm gonna assume that they are. They look like salt and pepper shakers. I have a few salt and pepper shakers at the moment and I must say that these are my least favorite <laughs> just because they're really, they're really minimal. Actually, that's a wood texture, right? That looks like a wood texture and we have a wood texture toothpick crate. This must match with the toothpick crate because of the wood grain. Oh, they are, they are. They've got a P and an S. They're pretty fun. Again, appreciating the texture. If I'm being honest, I, have, I already have salt and pepper shakers that are way cooler than this. I've already smashed the toothpick holder. I'm thinking that if I find a new home for the toothpick holder, I think that these salt and pepper shakers should go with it. And I think someone else will find a lot more love out of that than what I will. These are quite simple and simple is good, but simple is not me. Smash or pass? Smash or pass? So because I've already smashed the wooden crate, I feel like I need to stay consistent with that decision and also smash these. It's a smash. Oh! little buttons. Another big one. We're, we're building confidence in the big ones in time for the Mystery World series. So we're getting ready to build our muscles for that. I'm actually going to pop two on this one. One down the... Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to go this way because there's a part down here. So this one doesn't have much on it. It just says Arnold's, which has been a brand that we've got a lot of molds from. I was praying with every ounce of my being that that wasn't going to split open then. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's really elegant. Oh, that's stunning. I, I can visualize this in a movie or like a series. I could see it in like Pride and Prejudice or I could see it in Bridgerton. I think I could do something really stunning with this. Like really elegant, really delicate, really beautiful. It's a lot different to the other sort of quirkier, random weird pieces, which are so much fun but this will just challenge me in a way to create something that is in contrast to that so precious and so delicate and dainty and soft. I just, I, I really, I really like the, the look of this and I love the shape of this spout. I love the details on it because it allows me to 
although a flat surface would be really great it just also adds an element of design that I can sort of incorporate into my work I wouldn't usually say I like something like this but I'm excited for the challenge to play with it I'm going to make my first Regency piece and I'm probably gonna watch a bit of Bridgerton to get some inspiration if you have any other pop culture references that I should watch let me know I love it can you imagine just like walking around in your beautiful little dress and like watering your flowers with this <laughs> oh tickle me pink I love it so it's a pass I really like it and I can't wait to play with it what did you think of this episode of smash or pass did I make the right decision let me know what you think in the comments and any ideas you have for the past pieces don't forget to like and subscribe for more that is so beautiful what the heck is that delightful? I'm curious. I'm a bit concerned. It's kind of groovy.